Hi, Kevin Pollock here with Emerging Civil War, standing here on Mansfield Monument Road next to the Mortuary Cannon, marking the approximate location of where uh, Brigadier General Joseph Mansfield, commanding the Union 12th Army Corps, was mortally wounded on the morning of September 17th of 1862. Mansfield had only officially been in charge of the Union 12th Corps uh, for two days prior to this battle. However, Mansfield was a relatively experienced commanding officer. He was breveted several times for gallantry during the Mexican-American War and served in other various posts uh, out west in the years leading up to the Civil War. However, his experience here at Antietam was incredibly quick. The main action of the Battle of Antietam began at about 6 a.m. on September 17th when Joseph Hooker's 1st Corps engaged elements of Stonewall Jackson's command. About 7.30, the 12th Corps began to filter in in the fields behind me, or excuse me, in front of me, and then into the woodlot, what was a woodlot in 1862 that's behind me, known as the East Woods. The 10th Maine Infantry was one of the first units to deploy from Mansfield's 12th Corps. They deployed behind a fence line that is roughly where Mansfield Monument Road is today. And it was at this point they began to fire uh, into a body of troops that they saw out in front of them in the East Woods. It was Joseph Mansfield's understanding, however, that when the 12th Corps deployed, elements of the 1st Corps were going to fall back through his troops. And so when Mansfield saw from a distance the 10th Maine firing into the East Woods, he rode out here to the soldiers from Maine and he explained to them that they were firing into the backs of soldiers from the Union 1st Corps. One very brave Maine soldier shouted back to Mansfield. He said, no, sir, you are wrong. Those are the enemy. Mansfield took one more look and he realized his mistake as he began to turn his horse to ride back to the rear of the 10th Maine Infantry. A bullet struck Mansfield in the chest and later he was carried from the field and he would die the next morning uh, at September 18th at the George Line Farm, which is about a mile in front of me and behind uh, the camera. So Mansfield's stint here was relatively quick, but he was one of the highest ranking officers to be killed or mortally wounded here on September 17th at the Battle of Antietam.